Defense of Infancy, Wikipedia Article Audio The defense of infancy is a form of defense known as an excuse so that defendants falling within the definition of an infant are excluded from criminal liability for their actions, if at the relevant time, they had not reached an age of criminal responsibility. After reaching the initial age, there may be levels of responsibility dictated by age and the type of offense committed. Under the English common law the defense of infancy was expressed as a set of presumptions in a doctrine known as doli incapax. A child under the age of seven was presumed incapable of committing a crime. The presumption was conclusive prohibiting the prosecution from offering evidence that the child had the capacity to appreciate the nature and wrongfulness of what he had done. Children aged 7 to under 14 were presumed incapable of committing a crime but the presumption was rebuttable. The prosecution could overcome the presumption by proving that the child understood what he was doing and that it was wrong. In fact capacity was a necessary element of the state's case. If the state failed to offer sufficient evidence of capacity the infant was entitled to have the charges dismissed at the close of the state's evidence. Dole Incapax was abolished in England and Wales in 1998, but persists in other common law jurisdictions. Terminology The Age of Criminal Responsibility the terminology regarding such a defense varies by jurisdiction and sphere. Instances of usage have included the terms age of accountability, age of responsibility, age of criminal responsibility and age of liability. The rationale behind the age of accountability laws are the same as those behind the insanity defense, insinuating both the mentally disabled and the young lack apprehension. Governments enact laws to label certain types of activity as wrongful or illegal. Behavior of a more antisocial nature can be stigmatized in a more positive way to show society's disapproval through the use of the word criminal. In this context, laws tend to use the phrase, age of criminal responsibility in two different ways. Thus, each state is considering whether any given child has committed an offense, and given that answer, what the most appropriate measures would be for dealing with a child who has done what this child did. It is noted that, in some states, a link is made between infancy as a defense and defenses that diminish responsibility on the ground of a mental illness. Distinctions between children, young offenders, juveniles, etc. are used to denote matching levels of incapacity. The majority view is that this linkage is not constructive in that it implies that children are in some way mentally defective whereas they merely lack the judgment that comes with age and experience. This is an aspect of the public policy of parents patrie. In the criminal law, each state will consider the nature of its own society and the available evidence of the age at which antisocial behaviors begins to manifest itself. Some societies will have qualities of indulgence toward the young and inexperienced, and will not wish them to be exposed to the criminal law system before all other avenues of response have been exhausted. Hence, some states have a policy of doli incapax and exclude liability for all acts and omissions that would otherwise have been criminal up to a specified age. Hence, no matter what the infant may have done, there cannot be a criminal prosecution. However, although no criminal liability is inferred, other aspects of law may be applied. For example, in Nordic countries, an offense by a person under 15 years of age is considered mostly a symptom of problems in child's development. This will cause the social authorities to take appropriate administrative measures to secure the development of the child. Such measures may range from counseling to placement at special care unit. Being non-judicial, 
the measures are not dependent on the severity of the offense committed but on the overall circumstances of the child. The policy of treating minors as incapable of committing crimes does not necessarily reflect modern sensibilities. Thus, if the rationale of the excuse is that children below a certain age lack the capacity to form the mens rea of an offense, this may no longer be a sustainable argument. Indeed, given the different speeds at which people may develop both physically and intellectually, any form of explicit age limit may be arbitrary and irrational. Yet, the sense that children do not deserve to be exposed to criminal punishment in the same way as adults remains strong. Children have not had experience of life, nor do they have the same mental and intellectual capacities as adults. Hence, it might be considered unfair to treat young children in the same way as adults. Discussion in Scotland the age of criminal responsibility is currently 8 years, however age of criminal prosecution was raised to 12 in 2010. In England and Wales and Northern Ireland the age of responsibility is 10 years and in the Netherlands and Canada, the age of responsibility is 12 years. Sweden, Finland and Norway all set the age at 15 years. In the United States, the age varies between states, being as low as 6 years in South Carolina and 7 years in 35 states, 11 years is the minimum age for federal crimes. As the treaty parties of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court could not agree on a minimum age for criminal responsibility, they chose to solve the question procedurally and excluded the jurisdiction of the court for persons under 18 years. Ages of criminal responsibility by country Some countries refuse to set a fixed minimum age, but leave discretion to prosecutors to argue or the judges to rule on whether the child or adolescent defendant understood that what was being done was wrong. If the defendant did not understand the difference between right and wrong, it may not be considered appropriate to treat such a person as culpable. Alternatively, the lack of real fault in the offender can be recognized by rulings that dispense mitigated criminal sentences or address more practical matters of parental responsibility by adjusting the rights of parents to unsupervised custody or by separate criminal proceedings against the parents for breach of their duties as parents. The following are the minimum ages at which people may be charged with a criminal offence in each country. Malaysia has a dual system of secular and Islamic law, which has resulted in a number of different minimum ages of responsibility depending on which branch of the law is applicable. Child Imprisonment a person who is 15 years old or younger at the time of the offence shall be exempt from criminal liability. However, the minor shall be subjected to an intervention program. Juvenile Courts A person who is older than 15 but younger than 18 years shall likewise be exempt from criminal liability and be subjected to an intervention program unless he slash she has acted with discernment. Child imprisonment is a concept in criminal law where people are considered not old enough to be held responsible for their criminal acts. The main problem in most countries is whether children should be punished as an adult for crimes committed as a juvenile, or if special treatment is a better solution for the offender. In some countries, a juvenile court is a court of special jurisdiction charged with adjudicating cases involving crimes committed by those who have not yet reached a specific age. If convicted in a juvenile court, the offender is found responsible for their actions as opposed to guilty for a criminal offense. Sometimes, in some jurisdictions a minor may be tried as an adult. Under the Penal Code a person can be held criminally responsible from the age of 10, under the Syria Criminal Offences Act 1997, 
Muslim children can be held criminally responsible from the onset of puberty. Act 1997, Articles 2 and 51, offenses under the Internal Security Act can be prosecuted regardless of age. Regulations 1975, Article 3